We, uh, we are uh, watching their movements. They have been rather quiet. Uh, they are listening to our speeches. Uh, uh, John McCormick made a good statement. Carl Albert made a good statement. Uh, Hale Bog made a good statement. Uh, Mansfield said he'd support us, but he, he's gone. His heart's not in this thing, as you know. Uh, uh, Humphrey uh, feels as we do. Every member of the Joint Chiefs, every member out there, Taylor, Westmoreland, uh, the diplomat Johnson, Rusk, uh, Ball and Harriman, the three top men state, McNamara and Vance, plus the four generals, and we're all agreed on a course of action. We do not want to uh, go further than to say that uh, we will continue, and if they, but these actions will be measured and fitting and adequate, and you can add that any day they want to keep their 54 agreement, there's no use of making a new one if they don't keep the one they got. They made one in Laos, 62, they're not keeping it. No. They made one out there, 54, they're not keeping it. Why do you think they'd keep one 65 and they wouldn't keep one 62? No. But if they want to, they don't have to have agreement. They just got to stay across that line. No. And if they stay across it, we'll stay across it. No. But they can't come bomb us, kill our people, and expect us to go in the cave. No. That's about it. That's it. Uh, did you get those letters sent me? Uh, yeah, they're in the mail. I got you. Right. By no, the I got a fine one from Heinemann of the railroad. Yeah. He wrote a hell of a good one. Said well, he wanted to hire him himself. The other two, uh, well, they'll be there. All right, hurry up and get them, because I've got an FBI going on him now. Yeah, you can be assured they'll be there. All right, thank you. Okay. Afternoon.